Uh, it's fun to be involved in the 50th anniversary. I know the guys are really happy and uh, just talking to them and uh, they're really honored to be part of it. I haven't put on my gear in eight years, so I got to be careful not to fall. 94. Yeah, it'll be exciting and uh, it's just really exciting to see the guys from the 90s. Greg, uh, Babs, Clippy and Yerky and uh, I'm really excited to see those guys and spend the night with them. This all goes well, you're going to come and skate with us. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to bring in some people that from the 90s night, you guys know it's 90s night tonight. We got Gino, you guys all know Gino, 444 games, uh, 2100 penalty minutes leads uh, the record for the group. Hey guys, on behalf of us, just like to say thanks for putting up for all this kind of crap. I think you got one more error to go. You have to do this, but uh, keep up the good work. You guys are freaking rolling. We love it. Petey, Marky, congratulations on your uh, your choice for the uh, the All Star and Quinn. Yeah. We're all voting for you. We're, we're stuffing the ballots. So good luck tonight and keep it rolling, boys. It's going great. Yeah. In 2016, he was awarded the WAC Bennett Award, the most prestigious honor the BC Sports Hall of Fame can bestow, given to an individual who has made a significant, unique, and lasting contribution to sports in BC. He built it, and we came. Ladies and gentlemen, Arthur Griffiths. The shrewdest decision made by the Griffiths, the hiring of the big Irishman, Pat Quinn. He loved his players, and his players loved him back. In their finest hour, he was the firm and steady hand to guide. Please welcome Pat's daughter and forever a Canuck, Callie Quinn. He seemingly guided end-to-end -end effortlessly for nine seasons in Vancouver, the slickest of the Canucks D. Pat Quinn considered him a cornerstone defenseman for the success of the Canucks in the 90s and the run to the final in 94, Yerke Lume! His was a career renewed when he became a Canuck in 1991, a steady veteran presence on the blue line who in Game 5 of the 94 Stanley Cup Final scored the biggest goal of his career, a game winner sending the historic series back to Vancouver for one more chance to celebrate the boys of 94, Dave Babich! It wasn't just that he began the 94 playoffs with a shutout, nor that he completed the opening series with the save. It wasn't just that three other playoff shutouts, two of them back-to-back, -back, nor the historic 52 save overtime win performance in game one of the 94 Stanley Cup final. He was the calm in the eye of the storm, a reassuring presence that gave his team confidence in a chance for victory every game. Captain Kirk McLean. A BC boy came home, and when his team needed him most, he accepted the challenge and dramatically delivered. He launched the Canucks to the Stanley Cup Final of 94, and then sent the Rangers reeling in Game 1 of the Final at Madison Square Garden. In the words of the great Jim Robson, Greg Adams! Greg Adams! March 5, 1991, the date a childhood dream became reality. The hometown boy returned. He played every shift with boundless energy, his journey to eventually play in an NHL Stanley Cup final, inspirational to all those who told they would never make it. Burnaby's own Cliff Ronning.
In his first game as a Vancouver Canuck, he established himself as a fan favorite. Fiercely loyal, his teammates became and remain his brothers. His friendship with the Canucks' most exciting player enabled the Russian rocket to launch. A man of great compassion and courage, Gino Ojek. One more time, Canuck fans, for this team that gave us so many unforgettable memories. Would Mika Zabinijad and Bo Horvat please come to center ice for a ceremonial face-off? <laughs> Thanks, Mika. Thank you, Bo. And thanks, Arthur, Kelly, Yurke, Dave, Cliff, Greg, Kirk, and Gino. Make some noise, everybody!